Here's a little novelty AM transistor radio. The SL2000, the first quote stereo unquote radio you can actually hold in your hand. But, oh, it has an asterisk. Simulated stereo. Aha. Uh -huh. SL2000. Your teenagers will love it. Perfect for after school gab sessions, parties, lunch periods. Great for gifts. Enjoy sound as big as the great outdoors. No matter where you go. Picnics, sports events, boating. The SL2000 travels from room to room. Enjoy it in the kitchen, den, bedroom, family room, anywhere. Desk-bound executives needn't miss their favorite news, programs, or sports events. No notation. Oh, wait a minute. Here's something else. Enjoy a wraparound sound wherever you go. A masterwork of electronic miniaturization. Drift-free AM reception. 9-volt battery power source. Matching look of walnut finish speaker enclosure. U.S. design patent pending. British design patent number 976772. Made in Hong Kong. Doesn't say by whom. Open it up. We have some instructions. This is supposedly new. I don't know for sure. It's really crammed in there. Packaging seems original. Plastic hasn't been opened. Ah, come on. Well, maybe it is new. I don't see any destruction of the plastic. Let me take a minute to get it out of the plastic and we'll carry on. AM receiver, solid state, left, right, blah, blah, blah. And lots of little buttons that don't do anything. Little wood grain. Hong Kong. Volume, tuning. Let's get back to check out this battery. Alright, once I got the back off, which was not as easy as it sounds, look inside and we have the uh, battery. Looks like it's original golden tone. There's a small speaker, TF, 8 ohms, 0.2 watts, alright I got a battery and I didn't use the old one, I used a new one, Let's take a look at the uh, instructions here some of the some of the printing here is all out of whack it's not lined up it's very cheap and chintzy and there's our operating instructions pretty simple as you would expect and there's our specifications 
and a quarter inch speaker. Six transistors, two diodes, push pull output. And on the back we have a schematic diagram. Kind of odd to see that on a little novelty transistor radio. Printed in Hong Kong. Well, after a lot of searching, this is the only station I can find, and that's the top volume. And uh, the little thing is just a nightmare. Let's say you want to rotate the radio to get a better ferrite bar direction. Well, the speakers rotate, sort of, or it gets all messed up. So rotating the little radio is not an option. It's just really, really bad. Could be the age of the components inside. Let's look inside and see what they look like. All right, taking the back off. You can see everything. Output transformers. I have stages, tuning capacitor, right bar, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm sure there's a sixer in there somewhere hiding, I don't see it right now. Interesting, as I took the back off, I got slightly better audio wouldn't be hard to get. This thing is a real winner. Stay away. Okay, well enough of this. So that's been the SL2000 little novelty radio that looks like a rack stereo or something with its VU meters and AM dial or scale. It just doesn't work for crap. Maybe other ones do, but I don't think I'd try it. Unknown year, unknown manufacturer. Not anyway, it's an interesting looking little thing. If it, if it worked, it wouldn't be bad, I suppose. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.